Hello students, welcome to the fourth round of the Stukent simulation. Now this is the fourth out of five total videos that I will be creating for the Stukent simulation. Uh, so we are just crossing the midway point of the sim and there are seven total rounds. So for round four, you will be adjusting your price point of your tote, the promotions plan that you selected for your tote, and in addition to that, the advertising spending uh, that you budgeted last round of the simulation. In addition to that, you will be selecting distributors to partner with to carry your tote and sell your tote to your target market. Now, before we get started, I just wanna provide a little bit of advice to students. Uh, if you're having any technical glitches, please uh, turn off your ad blocker on Stukent. Uh, for some reason, it doesn't interact well with the content of the site. If you're having any technical glitches other than that, please make sure to email me as soon as possible and get in contact with Stukent support. Now, moving on to the adjustments based on the last round of the simulation. So if you are seeing this dial here and it is not on the green portion of the dial, then there is room for improvement in your uh, specific area. So if it's on price, promotions, or ad spending, you have room to improve if it's red, orange, or yellow. However, if it's only in the green section here, this means that you should only make minor adjustments. Uh, definitely don't do anything drastic to either of these adjustments because you have it well set at this point. So uh, that's just what how to interpret their feedback on the Stukin simulation. Now, as you're adjusting advertising, I just want you to keep in mind a few uh, key things here. So when we're actually budgeting advertising, we're measuring a couple of key metrics, which are a cost per impression, a cost per click, and a cost of customer acquisition. Now, in the example slide here, you will see the impressions, click, and conversions and cost. So at a high level, it's important to understand how the returns on this advertisement do in comparison with other sources like Facebook, for example. So a couple of ways that you might measure that is by calculating the expenses spent on that advertising uh, and the results that you got for it. So in this example, we spent $2,000 and we got 262,000 impressions. And that leads us to just under one cent per impression, which is uh, a very good rate. Now, uh, similarly, we calculated out for clicks and we calculate out the cost of customer acquisition. You can see here that it's about $35 to acquire a customer. So, you know, if a customer is buying a bag at $125 and we're paying 35 to acquire them, 35 to make the bag, then that leaves us with $65 of actual revenue or profits that we are generating from each sale. Now, that, that's just some advertising metrics that you might use to better adjust your advertising budget that you currently have. Um, in addition to that, I highly recommend that you do take a look at the market research reports that you've purchased, if you haven't already done so, and in addition, the survey that you actually did on Stukin. Now, with this in mind, let's jump over to the Stukin platform for some more tips or best practices on the round four. So here we are at the round four page of the Stukin simulation. Uh, and I just wanna remind you that you can always view your results using this tab to go to previous rounds. There you'll see the feedback from Stukin and you can see where that dial is at uh, that lets you know if you need to make adjustments or if you are pretty much in the green in that area. So you should check out those results and then create adjustments on pricing based on that information uh, as well as the promotions that you offered and the ad spending. Now, once again, if you don't have uh, survey questions on you know, the charitable causes or different things to bundle, you should take an A-B testing strategy approach. So just alternate in uh, the different promotions that you're actually offering um, until you, know, you get the combination that looks best to the target market. Uh, and in addition for that advertising spending, I highly recommend that you, you calculate out a couple of those metrics that I was showing and you see kind of what advertising platforms are really giving you the best returns um, to the dollar. So with that in mind, um, you can make adjustments to each of these. And the new task is to actually select distributors to partner with. 
Now, each distributor is going to have a different channel description on their customer traffic, segments, and revenue. Um, so we need to pick three of these to actually partner with. So again, our target market is 30 to 39. So we can you know, get the age of our customer using this customer segments profile here, which is also something that we talked about uh, in the class. So if we want to target those 30 to 39 year olds, we're really looking for people born between 81 and 96. So largely millennials uh, are in our target market here. So we really wanna select distributors that might be high in millennials as one of the metrics that we use to you know, pick from the list of distributors. In addition to that, you can see the different customer profiles here. Uh, it tells you a little bit about um, each customer. So for example, these are women and men, but primarily our target market is made up of women. Um, so you know, these are each, each tag is something to keep in mind when you're selecting a distributor. So using those strategies, you should be able to select three good distribution partners. Now, with this round of the simulation uh, wrapped up, this is all of the new content in the sim that you will be seeing. So from here forward, uh, it's very simple. You just need to make adjustments to each of the key areas. So you'll just be adjusting pricing, promotion, ad spending, and the distribution partners in later rounds of the simulation. So sims five, six, and seven will look very similar to this in terms of what you're actually doing. Um, so it will give you a chance to really perfect your marketing strategy. And you know the idea is that with each increasing round, um, you'll be able to better optimize this. So you should be getting closer to the right spot on each additional sim, right? So we expect you know students to score better in the later rounds of the sim as they're getting more and more feedback and making more adjustments. So I hope this video was helpful for round four and I look forward to seeing you guys in the video in round five.